What's good YouTube? In this video we'll be taking a look at why iPhones require so much less RAM than Android phones. If you like this kind of content or find this kind of content helpful, leave a message down below. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching. So if you've been keeping up with the latest generations of smartphones, you'll probably notice that iPhones have significantly less RAM for the higher trims than the latest smartphones as well. For example, the iPhone 14 Pro actually has 6 gigabytes of RAM, whereas the latest from Google or Samsung have up to 8 to 12 gigabytes of RAM respectively as well. And this has been the case for pretty much the whole time the iPhone has been available. And there's several reasons that contribute to this that will go into this video. First off, what the difference between iOS and some of the Android counterparts like the Google Pixel series of phones or the Samsung Galaxy series of phones is that iOS is generally a more efficient operating system to compare it to some of its counterparts. iOS is designed to be efficient specifically for Apple devices whereas Android is an open environment that is designed for several different manufacturers. Apple manufactures its own hardware and software and iOS is based in a closed system. It only runs Apple software, which allows for better optimization through Apple's engineers on both the software and hardware side. iOS is developed, distributed, and completely controlled by Apple. This means that the firm has the ability to make iOS software in an approved way and a controlled way within its own ecosystem. This is in stark contrast to Android, where the software and operating system are available to all developers and can be modified and distributed by different smartphone manufacturers as well. And probably one of the mo major motivating reasons why iOS continues to be a closed system is for Apple to maintain this control. By controlling both the software and hardware, Apple can make sure that all devices running iOS are fully compatible with the hardware and software and that it meets its standards in terms of quality control for both its software and hardware user experience. This of course has several ramifications and allows Apple to optimize the performance of both its software and hardware to make sure that the latest features and technologies in its new phones are running up. It also gives Apple a lot more control over privacy and security and strict permissions on apps that access certain sensors and data in the iPhone can be controlled by Apple and its closed system. This also has the added benefit of allowing Apple much stricter control over malicious software that might come up on iOS or the place the the App Store. So overall, the closed system of iOS does allow Apple to optimize its software to make sure that it runs just as efficiently on its smartphones despite its smartphones having less RAM. iOS apps are also more optimized to utilize and output the same kind of performance with less RAM that's available. All iOS apps are developed using Apple's software development kit, usually using Apple's proprietary Swift UI. And this makes, ensures that developers have to require Apple's guidelines and best practices to make sure that their apps are optimized to work on Apple hardware, which of course has less RAM. iOS has also has pretty sophisticated memory management as a result of this closed system and it is able to automatically and efficiently manage the use of RAM. It can close and optimize background apps and clear up RAM when it's running low. And this keeps the overall system running much more smoothly with much less hardware to work with. There's also several different design priorities when you're comparing an Android and or Apple device iPhones are notorious for focusing on smooth animations and a consistent iOS experience, whereas some different Android phones, depending on what the design of the phone is, might optimize for things like 
battery performance. Another big difference, which accounts for the less RAM on the iPhones, is the access given to third-party developers on each of the platforms. iOS has much stricter control over which parts of the operating system can be accessed by third-party apps, whereas Android, in general, is known to be much more lenient in terms of the permissions and features of the operating system that app developers are allowed to access. This means that on iOS, the apps are more isolated and more optimized to work with Apple's strict permissions and guidelines, overall improving performance as Apple ensures that its guidelines enforce its user experience standards based on the available software. So overall, the different approaches to both software and hardware design, and the fact that Apple has a lot more strict control over which parts of the operating system and iOS developers have access to, do make a difference in terms of memory management and the required RAM that's required in order to maintain the user experience on both platforms. So in general, this has meant that iPhones require a lot less RAM due to these guidelines and optimizations. Another major reason why the iPhones require less RAM than its Android counterparts is that Apple has much stricter control over its hardware supply chain compared to the myriad and spectrum of supply chains that you'll get from various Android device manufacturers. Sure, if you're buying a Samsung phone, you're guaranteed to have a supply chain management that's dictated by Samsung. But Samsung isn't the only manufacturer of Android phones. So Android as a operating system has to account for this, which means that it may require more RAM to account for the different types of hardware and different types of RAM quality that you'll get across Android devices. Apple, on the other hand, will have only one RAM manufacturer for a given iPhone lineup. And this has varied over the years, including, ironically, RAM being supplied by Samsung themselves on Apple phones. But due to the fact that Apple has control over its hardware and the supply chain for its hardware, it's able to better optimize exactly which RAM it's going to be using for I Apple. Has, is well known for controlling the many steps involved in the production of its products, including the, the cradle-to-grave design of and developing its hardware and software. Apple has strategic global partnerships with various suppliers and manufacturers, and this is all helping to make sure that Apple's quality standards in terms of its software and hardware can be met. Being one of the largest companies in the world, Apple is able to maximize its supply chain to guarantee that the goals of its individual products are met. Whereas with Android, you're dealing with different manufacturers getting supplies and supplies and parts from different sources. So just the fact that you have to deal with the diversity of supply chain on the Android side means that Apple has a lot more control over where its parts come from, how they're made, and how they're optimized for its software. Which of course means in the event, at the bottom line is that it requires less RAM for its tightly controlled environment. So there you have it everyone. The major reason why that iPhones have less RAM than Samsung is both in terms of software and hardware. Just the amount of control that Apple has over everything about the iPhone in terms of its iOS development standards, its toolkits, and its own language for developing apps on its ecosystem make RAM optimization a lot better on iPhones in general. We'll just have to see if this remains to be true in the coming generations of iPhone and Android devices. So, what do you think? Do you enjoy the RAM optimization on iPhones better than your Android device? Leave a message down below. Don't forget to subscribe 